Overwhelming. That's how Bakersfield resident Troy Buenteo describes his experience after being in the right place at the right time. On Friday, Dodger superstar Shohei Otani stepped to the plate in the bottom of the ninth with two outs and the bases loaded. Otani responded with a walk-off grand slam, becoming the fastest player in MLB history to reach the 40-40 club, 40 home runs and 40 stolen bases. The ball sailed in the direction of Buenteo's seat but didn't reach him. It bounced off a fan's glove before falling back to the outfield. Then, the unthinkable happened. I saw the ball going back up towards us. I just reached my glove up and uh, I actually caught it initially. And then there was just a melee, like uh, I, I described to somebody earlier, uh, I'm a heavy metal fan. And so <laughs> it's like being in a, sl uh, a Slayer mosh pit, you know, for like three to five seconds. This is a dream scenario for any fan of the boys in blue, except Buenteo says he isn't a Dodgers fan, but a lifelong Cubs fan. However, he says he is now a big Shohei Otani fan after the moment that both he and his son will never forget. Buenteo tells us one of the first things that popped into his head was some of the hardships he and his family has faced recently. He specifically mentioned a long custody battle that cost them a lot of money. We finally got it finished on Wednesday. They told us that he was, uh, he was gonna permanently be with us. And uh, it's just, um, I, I thought like, finally I got a load off my back. What some might call easy money now becoming hard work for Buenteo, as he's had challenges with getting the ball authenticated. He tells us a security guard came over to him and told him to wait there but after 20 minutes of waiting, he was told the Dodgers weren't interested in authenticating the ball. I'd like to believe it was just a mistake, maybe. I'm not really sure. Um, I called their offices earlier today. Um, they, they recommended I send an email. Um, I, I told the individual, hey, I'm, I'm, people are asking me about, you know, what happened with the authentication, and I'm telling them what happened. Buenteo says his number one priority is to get the ball authenticated. He doesn't know if he wants to keep it or sell it yet. However, he is willing to listen to offer.